What up folks, I'm Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of the Transformers Studio Series, Grimlock. That's right, my zillions, I'm finally doing this guy. He's been, you know, in size comparisons and whatnot. I actually did start this video in February of 2021. Um, and the next two parts you'll see after this, with the box, with the interior of the box, were filmed in February of last year. And I just never got back to it. Just too many things have come through this. And you know what, guys? This probably deserved to be on my tops of the year. But since I decided to do my tops of the year as only things that I reviewed, this uh, didn't make it. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. Let's kick things off with a little box art nerd. Wheelie, Grimlock sitting in there, chilling. Um, nice image, really good drawing here, I think. All these drawings usually are. Studio series on the side, 86 is a subline, 06, got that over there. Transformers the movie down there. Looking pretty good, Grimlock, Wheelie. Usual Transformers generation stuff. Transformers, 86, same image. On the back, the usual, what we get here, tells you how many steps, both modes, and there you go. Mockery of justice. Mockery of justice. Who knows what mockery of justice is about? I, I, I can't even, I can't think. I can't, it's a quote from the movie probably, but... Big screen inspired scale, detail, backdrop, you know, whatevs. I, I don't care about the backdrop. It's in there. There's a backdrop in there. It's back here. I guess we'll look at it once I open this. And for those that did want to see this, here's the uh, interior of the box. They're meant for uh, display, but you know, I just don't care. <laughs> like you could put this guy here if you want. Eh. Eh, in front of it. Eh. It, it doesn't do anything for me. Um, to me, it's just a, a cardboard cutout that's in the box for display. I don't feel like it's great for, um, you know, further display. You could do that if you want. Make it nice. I don't know. I mean, when that's open, I guess it looks better, but him personally, he doesn't fit up top here very well. They'd have to go in front, and, and that just, just defeats the purpose, in my opinion. So, eh, it is what it is. It's garbage on my end. So, in dino mode, articulation is as follows. The mouth opens and closes. The head goes up, like so. The neck turns. The arms have some outward movement and can go up and down. <laughs> the elbows go back and forth, totally ambidextrous. And then super ratcheted legs can go outwards too. You do have rotation in the thighs there. The knees have ratchets up here and then you, know, you can do that as well if you want. And the feeties do move the tail does not move so it's pretty decent though right and taking a look at this guy in full in dino mode it looks amazing it really does i really really like it it's so classic look at this panel here of colors you got green and red and blue that just looks cool and then you know the light gray plastic color with the you know regular plastic color Gray plastic color looks fine, and the details are nice on the tail. I like it. I guess we're looking at the tail right now. Um, really nice. You get a little bit of red in there. That looks pretty good. You get some black here. You know, Grimlock's feet. Um, the black, the back, the black, the back, the back, the back is pretty plain, but it's fine. You get some red here, which looks nice. 
The legs look pretty good. I like the gold feet. Those look very, very nice. I love this right here. The underbelly with the gold and then the clear black translucent plastic over the Autobot symbol. That's very nicely done. Good details there. Good details on the bottom here. On the chest, I wish this closed completely, but it's fine. You do get the Autobot symbol there in silver with red in the middle. The arms are done in that super, super light gray. There's a little bit of pearlescence to them. I do uh, like the details. The sculpt work is pretty good. The neck done in gold looks really nice. And the head is pretty cool. The teeth are nice. These little jowls there, ghoul, cool, not ghoul. Then you got, um, I, have, I have a gold. Uh, can you, did you notice? Um, well, at least at the time of recording this part, because hey, who knows how many parts this is. Uh, the eyes done in metallic blue look really nice. I do like them. So yeah, and then he's got gun in his mouth. You see that? That's pretty slick. And yeah, Grimlock looks great. Proportions are nice. This is a, a pretty perfect robot mode Grimlock. And that's why I'm saying this guy would have definitely have been in my tops of the year just for this robot mode, man. He should have been. He really should have been. I should have made an exception. And for his last comparison, here is Grimlock with a bunch of other Transformers that I've only partially reviewed as well. It, it's a thing. I start Transformers reviews and then I, I, I stop. I don't have a I don't have an answer guys. I really don't. I feel bad. I do. I'm sorry, Transformers fans that watch my channel. You deserve better. And one thing I gotta say before we um uh, move on to Robot Mode, which you briefly did see in the beginning of this video. Um He does that. Mine mine does that a lot. So you know, I mean if you make him stand straight up, he's fine. But if you want his tail to hang out, it, it drops back. Anywho, without any further ado, let's uh, transform and roll out. Stomp out. And here is Grimlock all transformed. Before we look at him, he does come with a gun, which uh, I can't find right now. But it looks sort of like this, uh, although this is not his at all. Um, it looks sort of like this, shape-wise. But you could also, you know, flip back to uh, the beginning of this video to see that. This won't fit in his hand because this is from a much bigger Grimlock. But anywho, I can't find it. I did come across it recently, and I don't know where I put it. So it's, I mean, again, it's taken me a year plus to do this review. <laughs> so there's that. It also comes with this guy, Wheelie, which I should have shown in dino mode. Um, but you could check out, you know, my final thoughts uh, to see him on top of him in dino mode. Um, but he looks pretty cool. A lot of folks did not like this. He does have articulation, head moves around, the arms. Move around on ball joints. The little uh, slingshot moves around in his hand. The hands do not move, but you know. And then the legs are on ball joints as well. So he's in a fixed pose, you know, to shoot the Energon uh, slingshot. And I think it looks really nice. I really do. Like, eyes done in blue are really nicely done. The face in silver, gray around it. The oranges and peach pink, you know, looks really good. It really does. Autobot symbol is nice. The legs are good. It's got a nice shine to it. Yeah, all hollow on the inside and on the insides there. But, you know, it's not a full figure. It's like an accessory figure. It's got a little tab there. 
but I like it. I do. I know a lot of folks don't, but I do. Uh, on this side, you can pop him in here. There is a hole there for wheelie to be tabbed in. You could do it on either side. And now he's uh, on there like that, which is cool. I like it. And hey, real quick, figured I might as well show you. There's also little holes here, there. And now uh, you can pop it in on this side if you want. You could pop it. <laughs> you could pop wheelie in on that side. So he's riding on Grimlock's back. Or you could do so on this side. And then you want to go like that. You have to align it right, of course. There you go. You can do something like that, which is cool. I like it. And we'll look at Wheelie again later. Well, kind of, sort of. Uh, but let's look at Grimlock. Head is on a ball joint. You can move this part up and down as well. He does have waist swivel. Arms come out like that. Or actually this way, which is nice. Bicep swivel. Kind of a double jointed elbow, sort of. Not really, but eh, kind of, sort of. The wrist does move and, you know, do what you will with those. Like that. Pretty much a full split, right? Yep, full split. And then kicks forward, goes back nice. Swivel at the thigh. Single jointed leg. Rocker at the foot. So, I don't know, pretty decent articulation, I would say. And in addition to that, you can move um, these things a bit if you want. You know, kind of like wings, like super robot wings. Uh, one of the reasons why I've always liked Grimlock, I think, is the way that looked. I don't know, it always looked really cool to me and very super robot -y. So Grimlock in full here looks great. Proportions are really nice, in my opinion. Yeah, his head looks a little small, but eh, that's kind of the Grimlock mold, you know? That's kind of the design. Um, and it looks pretty decent. These, again, look great. Now on the front of the feet, the feet in total look pretty good. I think it comes together very nice. Obviously, transformation is really easy. If you transform one Grimlock, you pretty much transform them all. Um, like muscle memory at that point. I like how the white looks on the interior. So black paint here looks good. Legs look good. Upper legs look pretty good too. Done in black. And then right over here, nice details. I like that. Gold chest looks pretty good. And again, um, this part here looks really nice. I, I do like it a lot. The arms come out looking pretty decent. Beefy, gray. Black fists with the gold around that. That looks pretty good. Again, the back looks pretty decent. I do like it. I don't know. A lot of people don't like those things, but I do. I like them. Um, and the head sculpt, I think, is really good. Done in... It's like a dark, 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 dark gray. It's black, but like I think it's more dark gray. And then um, the metallic blue visor is pretty good. So, I do like it. It's a good Grimlock head, in my opinion. And this is a good Grimlock. He looks really good. He's big, he's chunky. He's got some ratchets here and there, which I always like um, for big robots. So, I don't know. I think it's, it's pretty decent. If you like Grimlock's robot mode, this is a good one. There's no doubt about it. They did a great job. Um, I do love the dino mode. That's, for me, that's my Grimlock. Grimlock for me, is the dino mode. Like, he could stay in the dino mode all the time, and I'd be happy, because there's so much character in that dino mode. Um, but there's also a lot of character in here, and I, I really do like it, and I think Hasbro did a great job with this, no doubt. And for your size comparisons in this mode, here's Grimlock with uh, just a few figures you might have in your collection, including Hot Rod and RC from the movie series as well. And my final thoughts, I mean, this is a great figure. It would have made my tops of the year. Um, it really would have. It's it's really great, you know, so having a chance to do it now. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Transformers fans. It should have been on my list. 
and I'm sorry to Grimlock here because he deserved it. Um, he's a great figure in both modes. I really like him a lot. I even like the uh, wheelie, so no problems here at all with this figure. I think it's fantastic, and um, yeah, I just feel bad. I really do. <laughs> I keep harping on that, but I, I do. Um, it's happened so much. It's going to happen a lot here. I'm going to have a lot of regret as I do some reviews that I've, you know, been meaning to do for a while. Um, but I'm glad I'm doing them, you know, so that's the thing. Uh, I, do, I try to review as much as I can, and um, I'll get to stuff when I get to stuff. But I'm glad I got to this guy. I love Grimlock, and there you go. Great figure. Hope you dug this review. Let me know your thoughts down below, and if you could please like, comment, subscribe, share, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out. Peace.